I will welcome everybody to our webinar, Resolution Facial Eaters. Uh, and as you may be able to see, this meeting is being recorded. So if anybody has any objections to that, uh, please can you uh, either indicate or if you really object, if you would, uh, we would ask you to leave the meeting. This project, funded by the European Union within the Lifelong Learning uh, Programme, which is a huge cross European in our program. At the end of the project, we will be creating, and we are creating, we have created some of these already, we'll show you, um, a European resource center. We chose Moodle because it's a very powerful, it's customizable, it's open source, and it's a scalable platform which is used by many universities and schools to deliver content. However, the platform, as it is um, uh, available, is not um, very easy to use. So one of the main goals of the project was to produce an easy-to-use platform that will be intuitive for teachers without uh, significant experience and expertise in IT. And we trained more than 60, I think 66 teachers all together. Teachers of English, teachers of Bulgarian language and literature, history, French, and uh, about 18 teachers who teach in the primary to use the platform. You see it's a mixture of a hands-on experience and reflecting on the educational potential of using Web 2.0 in education because some of the teachers had never uh, used um, any Web 2.0 tools before. Um, I mean in their personal lives, not only in their professional lives. So we had to start from the very beginning. Each of them had to present an idea of how to implement the platform and Web 2.0 in their classes. And I'm really happy to say that as a result of this training, we have all these courses. To find ways that we can bring you into the platform to actually look and test it yourselves. That's basically the, the basis for this project, is to try uh, to make it easy or much easier for teachers to jump in. And obviously this is a very innovative idea that we're trying to work on here and we can see still plenty of barriers uh, which in the next few months we hopefully will jump over uh, but it is, it is a problem and as I said the whole concept of the project is to try and simplify.